So welcome back. We're not in Iowa here today. Uh, we're actually in Ohio with Brian, Brown's Farms. For some reason, you don't know who this is. Brian's Farming Videos on YouTube. Great YouTube channel. One of the YouTube channels that I highly respect. Ran into him in Kentucky at the farm show. His dad said, well, if you're not tiling, come on down. So it happened to work out. We got rained out. And we're going to spend the day doing a little bit of tiling. This is actually the second day. They haven't fired me yet, even if I dig the wrong hole. Yeah, but well, you're one main away. <laughs> but I want him to pre-grip this next one too. Uh, I don't think that's the right spot. Is it what? I think he just crossed over here. Yeah, it looks like. What? Yeah, I, think it looks I thought it was a little close, but you know, I was a little. Oh, uh, that's nice. Well, I better go dig a different hole, huh? Look at how nice that start hole is. At least I didn't like plug a hole in it or nothing. I think Brian's actually gonna do the tiling video. I'll probably just have more of a video of hanging out with these guys and there's a chance I might be able to get around a DA dozer. <laughs> so, see what we can get done today. Oh yeah, and uh, this truck, you'll see him. He'll be around uh, the soil Max Yoda. Mr. Ryan Zook is around as well. High spot. That's high. Okay. It's okay. It just enough That's of a high spot. Yeah, okay. I know where you mean. And you'd have there. to be like 55 inches, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is actually my uh, second day with the Browns working out here. Uh, had a killer good day yesterday. I think they put somewhere, I don't know for sure, but it was over 10,000, probably around 15,000 feet in. A big old uh, six inch run right there. 2200 foot six inch run, that's pretty darn awesome. I didn't get as much filming done because I'm really not just here to mess around. I'm here to actually help you get something done. You guys will actually see what I've been running which is kind of a draw for me to get up here and test one of these out. But I think what they're gonna try and do the rest of the day here, I think they got four rolls of four left and I've got a roll of four on here, which would mean that there's another 12,000 some odd feet. We got a start hole up here ready to go. I guess it's time to lay pipe. Oh shoot, I don't mean to be in that gear. This is why you get walking tandems on your tile cart. Barely even rock going across that. I got a feeling that tree's gonna get the D8 special. So there's been my chariot for uh, yesterday. Actually getting to try out a Kubota Mini. I think there's an Instagram picture about to be taken. Come on back. Yeah, I'll, I'll be a fun experience to work with. Oh, I got a tower there at my field, uh, and apparently guys went into my field last night, and they put their trailer in my field, and uh, they completely rutted up my hay field, and they buried their trailer in my field. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
this little, what is this thing? This is a, this is a little 40. This is not a, like a Kubota demo or anything. I believe Brian's cousin uh, runs an uh, landscaping business or something like that. This is his drone or something along those lines. Just happens to be, I was kind of interested in demoing a Kubota little excavator and got the chance to run this one. First thing I'd say, a uh, lot touchier than the excavator that we have, it's it's touchy. Fortunately, the cab is not made for big dudes at all. Not made for big dudes. This door right there, getting in and out of that, that ain't no fun. And I realized, and Brian actually commented this, if I'm roading and stuff like that, my legs actually just push out gently on these handles. These handles need to be like further back and maybe up higher or adjustable for us bigger dudes. And that for what we're doing, like I think that's like a 30 inch bucket or something along those lines. Maybe or a third, yeah, it's a, it's a big bucket. Like that's a big bucket for this thing for what we're doing. Maybe a little bit smaller bucket. It's nice. I'm definitely kind of disappointed in the size of the cab. Not something that I'd want to spend all day in. But what is really nice, this angle blade. I really kind of like that. So one thing that's different about the Browns plow is they have a three point model versus the plow that I have is a pull tie plow, which from what I understand, I don't think they can go quite as deep as we can with the pull tie plow, but it's really not that much. But one benefit I see to what they have is that BJ can survey going backwards all the way to the hole versus like when we're using the pull tie plow, you have to drive towards the hole and then like swing around really tightly at the end. That's pretty neat about uh, the pull type uh, or the three point. So not only are we down here tiling, Brian is going to uh, try and start a podcast. We're gonna attempt. We're it. he's he's gonna experiment with it, and I'm apparently the the first guinea pig. You are like I got the box of stuff last night when I got home. Yep. And it's still sitting on the table where I put it last <laughs> night. So So we're gonna try and shoot a podcast tonight and shoot a podcast? It's not shoot a podcast. I think you record one. You record a podcast, see? It should be really good. You can tell all the the brain power we got going on towards the podcast. It'll be something there'll be some pizza and a few beers. Hey, that'll work. So you'll have to look out for that. He'll have to come up with a name with it at some point. Right now yeah. it's a no name podcast. That was actually one of the uh the yeah. ideas we were kicking around. Is there already a is there already a podcast called the No Name Podcast though? Probably now. Come up and ask Andrew, our the, our hired hand that works on the farm, ask him tons and tons of YouTube questions about things that are going on, but they they decided not to ask. I'm gonna hop in with BJ on the next run. I want to see what it's like to actually pull pipe with a CVT transmission. One thing I would say that's different right now it, with these can ground with with these with the ground conditions, BJ's pre ripping. With the quad track in this situation, I won't have to pre-rip. I don't necessarily think he needs to pre-rip right now. I think he's just doing it as a safety precaution, but I, I won't have two thoughts about it with the quad track. I'd, I'd be able to pull right through that, but the quad track weighs 20 more thousand pounds than that. difference a big difference in between the quad track and this row crop row crop row crop tractor is the CVT transmission that they've run from what I understand the slower you can go kind of equals weight when it comes to pulling these tile plows so he can set his speed to 1.7 is what he's got his speed set at and the engine will rev up to the revs that it needs for the power versus when you're pulling with the quad track when you need more power, it's also gonna try and have more speed. So you hit the throttle forward, it's gonna try and go faster. That's the very attractive part of a variable rate transmission. I think they call it variable rate, variable true speed. Um, yeah, I don't 
whatever they want to call it. See, there he goes, surveying backwards. Looks like Brian's been here. I guess we get to see... Oh, that don't work so good. Well, I guess we get to see what one of these Yankums is all about. Yeah, we're gonna do <laughs> thumbnail. You better send this one to the ankle, right? Yeah. Let me get a picture of this too. You gotta stretch it tight now. Hey, it's freaking tight, this thing's heavy. <laughs> you wanna shut the recording off? Oh, yeah, you can turn it off. Yeah, we're gonna... So we finished up tiling. He's got a YouTube first, I guess. I'm gonna take off here soon. But they did uh, entice me with being able to run a D8 dozer for a little bit. Thing looks massive. The blade on that thing's huge. Full clear back. There's a decelerator. Yep, decelerate this. Yep. That's decelerator when you stop the shift. Twist this forward, backwards. Okay. This is the lock. Turn it. That way, turn that way. And this is blade. That's blade. Yep. Okay. Pulls right wide open. And, uh, and let her rip. Let rip. The one time I don't have a magnetic mount and this thing's made of completely of metal. Oh boy, we're gonna have fun with this one. So we got full throttle. Throttle's bad. All right. That's great. So nope, that's now we're locked. Okay. And. Versus this. Holy smokes. was pretty darn cool I, we're gonna end my trip here to ohio hanging out with the browns thanks to the browns genuine people i gotta find me one of those <laughs> see you next time holy smokes you gotta get up on this son of a gun oh oh well i didn't close Brian, why isn't your door closed? Is it like locked or something?
That's weird. Might as well take Brian's rock sword for a rip. Whoa. Oh jeez. Brian, I'm gonna get your your rock sword stuck here on YouTube. What gear am I in? I don't know what gear I'm in. First, okay. Holy smokes! <laughs> I really don't know what to do myself when you can pull out a whole roll of tile in two runs. That's, that's too nice. <laughs> 